All right, so I wanted to update my testicular cancer vlog with what has been going on. I started my first cycle of chemo on July 15th. I'm doing EP times four, which is four cycles of getting etoposide and cisplatin. It's either that or this other one, BEP. Uh, my oncologist wanted EP. On uh, days one and two, I was fine. I was like, wow, this isn't anything like they made it sound like it would be. Day two after I got home, when we went to go get dinner, I started having hiccups and it was really uncontrollable. So we called the on-call doctor and he said, you should take some nausea medicine. So I took my Zofran that they had prescribed and that kind of helped. I also did this weird backwards water drinking trick in the same half hour that I took the pill. So I'm not sure which of those worked, but one of them did. Uh, and then day three, I told the doctor that and they added Pepsid to my drip. So after that, I had no more hiccups and I was also having acid reflux, but that, that kind of started before chemo and it lasted into chemo. So they just added that Pepsid to help with that too. And after that, I didn't have any more hiccups or acid reflux. The doctor also said to take Zofran just as a preventative thing before dinner to prevent hiccups. So that's what I started doing. Uh, I did that probably through the Saturday. On day four, I was fine all day. Day five, I was fine all through the session, all six hours. Uh, and it was Friday night that I finally crashed for the first time. And that was the first time through all this, like through having my surgery to remove my nut and finding out that I had cancer. Uh, that was the first time that I cried a little bit because it was like becoming real and it was sort of what they were preparing me for, the sort of crash. But then I was fine. My parents and brother and I went for a ride down at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront just to get out of the house. And I had already taken Saturday off, so I didn't have to work on Saturday. I was planning to go in on Sunday though, because I felt like I could probably do it if I had to. But luckily, since I direct TV news, um, there was a golf tournament that day, the British Open, and that golf tournament preempted our news. So I didn't have to go into work and I didn't have to use a sick day. Also on Sunday though, I st this is weird, but I had, not, I had not taken a dump since Monday morning. That was a little concerning. I usually can go, I usually go a few days between, but never six days. So I took some stool softeners and I drank mocha magnesia. It didn't work on Sunday, but on Monday when I was back to work, it definitely started working a little bit. I was glad I went to work Monday. I was pretty tired, but I made it almost all the way through the day. My boss cut me loose a little early. Tuesday, I felt fine. My boss probably would have cut me loose a little early on Tuesday as well, but we had some severe weather, so I stuck around to help uh, the meteorologist cut into, into programming to warn people about it, and then I ended up staying my whole shift. My appetite this whole time has been fine. Uh, I haven't thrown up at all, or nothing's come out of the other end too crazy. I've eaten about as much as I always have, so that's that seems like a good sign for now. On Wednesday, which was day 10 from the start of the chemo. I was pretty tired, but it seemed more like regular tired than it did chemo tired, because I wake up at three o'clock in the morning for work. That didn't seem too out of the norm. I'm usually pretty tired anyway because of my work schedule. On day 11, which was Thursday, I felt I was feeling fine, so I went go-karting again to see how I could do. I wasn't sure if I would finish the race, but I did, and I actually, even though I got there early in the day, I set the best time of the day, which I'm sure got blown out of the water later in the day. But that's okay. Day 12, I went, which is Friday, I went into the oncologist and had blood work done. They just wanted to check on me and see how I was doing. Um, so they took my blood and then I saw the doctor and my white blood cell count is or was 0 0.9. Um, I'm not sure what the normal range is, but they said that's pretty low. Today is now day 18. They want me to come back tomorrow on Friday and get blood work again to make sure that I'm good to go for Monday, August fifth, which is my second cycle. On day 12, I was feeling pretty good, so some friends took me to Top Golf, and it was very nice of them to do that. We had a good time. So that was all good, and then the rest, days 13 through 16 have been fine. Yesterday was day 17. I was pretty tired, but I feel like it was again because I did a whole work week for the first time since starting chemo, and that's five days of waking up at three in the morning. Uh, today's day 18, and when I showered, Earlier, I started losing all of my hair, so that's finally happening. My oncologist said that it would happen before the second cycle, and he was right. It's coming out pretty crazy. That's why I'm rocking the beanie, and I guess I'll be rocking the beanie all summer, which is fine. Shout out the podcast, The Nine Club.
<clears throat> looking forward to tomorrow to get the second blood work done to make sure I'm good to go on Monday. I feel like I will be because I don't feel sick. They prescribed me an antibiotic last time I had blood work to make sure that I didn't get sick. So I feel like that should be building me up, and I should be good to go for Monday, hopefully. So I have 15 more days of chemo to do between now and October. Hopefully it goes by fast. It hasn't been too bad so far. A lot of people have been very supportive and very thoughtful with gift giving and even made even a, a friend made these Stephen Strong bracelets. Um, but a lot of people have been super supportive and I'm very thankful for that. And um, looking forward to this being all over.